The following screencast will provide you with an introduction to the Acknowledge Automated Muscle EMG Muscle Activation Routine. This is a useful tool for identifying when periods of muscle activity occur within a file. I've opened up a sample waveform here. Uh, it was recorded at 2000 samples a second. Uh, not much data but it's enough for this particular demonstration. If we go to the analysis menu to the EMG or electromyography submenu there's an option in there locate muscle activation. When you select this option you're confronted with a new dialog box. First of all it's going to ask you for the raw EMG channel. Well in this case we've only got one so it's defaulting to channel 1. We then asked for a window width. Now what the software is going to do to start off with, it will create an integrated EMG waveform and it needs to know the time window to perform the integration over. So I'm going to set this at 100 milliseconds, which should be good enough. We, we won't actually see the result of the integrated EMG it's going to do that in the background. And then we have two options for detecting the muscle activity. The first is an automated routine that's using uh, an adaptive type um, threshold. And basically what's going to happen is going to look at the baseline noise and it's going to extract the variance of the signal with, the, with respect to the noise. Now this usually works reasonably well without any modifications, so we'll start with that option. The last piece of information the software requires is um, a time window to use for discarding bits of data. Now it's important, this, this is defaulting to 100 milliseconds or 0.1 seconds. This number should be, you know, within the burst of muscle activity and no more than the interval between muscle clenches. And in order for this analysis to work, you need to have about two and a half seconds of baseline EMG at the beginning of your recording, just typical baseline EMG resting muscle activity so that um, the software can look at that signal to help determine this particular threshold level. And then in order for this to work well you need to have a reasonably good resting period or a good return to baseline before another uh, muscle activity or further muscle activity occurs. So anyway, let's just leave this the way we've got it set up. So channel one, we've got a, an integrated window width of 100 milliseconds. We're going to use the default adaptive method. And then we're going to use the discard transition shorter than 100 milliseconds option. So here we have it. The software has gone through and it's identified periods of EMG activity and we can see it looks like it's triggered on some noise here but you know it's not a bad effort for you know doing an automated analysis what I can do is I'll rerun the analysis using the manual threshold to see if we can improve on that method so I just remove the event marks and I'm going to remove this particular channel remove waveform I'm going to go back in to the locate muscle activation menu. I'll leave my envelope set to 100 milliseconds. This time, however, I'm going to use a fixed threshold. I'm going to set this to five times the um, baseline standard deviation. Now I'm going to hit OK. And there we go. 
now we've by increasing that threshold a little bit where it was double triggering before we've got rid of that so now we have a nice digital representation of when the muscle activity occurred and you'll notice on the raw waveform the software has also put these event marks in this is event type waveform onset and it gives you a little bit of information about that well these event marks can be used for further measurements um, but as far as this particular analysis is concerned we've actually been able to identify each of the um, portions of muscle activity within this file and if we overlap we've actually been pretty accurate so that concludes this introduction to the EMG electromyography locate muscle activation demonstration.